how to get the most out of getting mad. Anger has gotten a bad rap. Processed properly, it can actually benefit you by motivating positive change. You will need introspection, self-control, positive action, and exercise. Step one, don't suppress your anger. Numerous studies have linked keeping anger bottled up with the development of health problems. This is especially true in marriage. One study found that couples who stew in silence instead of having air-clearing fights nearly double their chances of early death. Step two, channel your anger into action. The remark or behavior that sets you off is often indicative of an underlying problem like low self-esteem or a dissatisfying relationship. Address the bigger issue and the petty annoyances will take care of themselves. Step three, react strategically. Blowing up at someone isn't likely to rectify the situation and will probably make things worse. Instead, take time to figure out a fair resolution and then speak your mind calmly. Force yourself to react more slowly and quietly than usual. Angry people have a tendency to speak louder and faster. Step four, if it's social injustices that have your blood boiling, channel that rage into action. Join a political protest, donate your time to a charity, or organize your own philanthropic effort. Step five, take your anger-induced adrenaline and go for a run or hit the gym. You'll blow off steam and improve your health. Now that's how you get the most out of getting mad. Did you know? Our brains secrete norepinephrine when we're angry, a hormone that acts as an analgesic to numb our pain.